Hello everyone and welcome back to Rompa 2 Goodbye Despair. Last time uh, we investigated further into the deaths of Ibuki and Hyoko, uh, spending time in the music venue, in the, in the back staff room, uh, we investigated the hospital, the motel, and the movie theater. And we discovered that the deaths seem to be imitation murders of the murders that were depicted in this really shitty movie that uh, Monaco made. Mm -hmm. uh, that we paid $1.5 million not to watch. Or, sorry, to buy a sticker instead of watching it. And then ended up having to watch it anyway. Uh, and this... that's the true tragedy of the day. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, things are... <sighs> things seem a little strange and weird um there was question about whether it was possible that there were two killers but it sounds like that's not the case there is one killer even if there's an accomplice uh we still have to have one blackened mm -hmm. uh we also learned that we can't have more than two kills per person um at any given time uh which is why there was not a third murder to fully match the movie that we saw last time mm -hmm. uh uh, it seems that we've gathered enough information that Monokuma has decided that we we can proceed with the class trial. Hence, we are here at the Rock. Yep. Uh, Indeed. And now we're going to talk with everybody, I guess. Before, before we, we dive in. into the, the class trial itself, yeah. let's do this thing. All right. Everyone who heard the announcement has gathered in front of Monokuma Rock. And soon enough... Welcome! Yes. Is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? No, we don't. Everybody hey. say what? <laughs> hey, jerk. Hold it right there. Monami, such a dumb child. <laughs> <laughs> don't get in my way. You're just such a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. <laughs> oh hey, my brain works just fine. Hey, hey. Monokuma, what did you do with Nekumaru? Hmm, I see. So you've come to avenge him. Is he dead? Ah. That's avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> sounds like you say. Oops. Anyway. Anyway, since Nekamaru is unfortunately unavailable today, let's just say he's absent. Bye-bye. Uh, now then, I gotta go first. I won't let you. Oh, hold on. I won't let you escape. Hey, hey what hey. the fuck? Hey, did you hear what he said? Is he actually dead? I don't know, man. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekamaru is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. Yeah, probably. D I mean, Damn it. Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. Well, more importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, every one of us except Nekamaru will die. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What do you What are you saying, for? fiend? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Let's talk to everybody first. Hey, Nagato. What's up? Hmm. Just as I thought, this particular incident... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we can continue this later. Right, Hajime? What's wrong with him? He's even creepier than usual. Yeah, I don't like that you seem to know things. He knows things, and this case is just getting him all riled up. I, don't, I, don't, I especially don't like I that. I don't like that. Hmm. It's about time that I showed my serious side. Let's make history. Jeez, how troublesome. But I suppose I can display my true power for the sake of our two fallen comrades. Thanks. Okay, you seem to know things too. Yeah, what's going on, Gundam? Kazuichi. This is pain. Oh, I said it like White Italian. <laughs> Kazuichi. Kazuichi. <laughs> Sorry. What did Monokuma mean just now? Don't tell me Nekamaru's already here. Don't get distracted by Monokuma. We need to focus on the class trial right now. Yeah. Uh, I know, but... He's just... Uh. I'm gonna do it! Hey, what are you whining about? Hurry up and get this all over with. Oh, yeah. sorry. Already. And and then we can greet Coach Nekamaru with open arms when he comes back. Well, 
one of us won't be here. Uh, Jeez. I already figured this. But it's best if we don't rely on Monami all that much. Yeah. She's just saying stupid things, and it'll just make us even more confused. <laughs> Maybe we should shut her up for good. Well, the ego. She's I mean, our... she's just a stuffed animal, right? She's our teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I have also killed a teacher. <laughs> hey, let's go. There's no time to waste. I know it's sad, but we need to move forward, and then we can end this once and for all. Okay. And Sonia. What's up, Sonia? I... Hyoko, it must be my fault after all. Well? Then, I must learn the truth behind this murder most foul. Now then, let us proceed. I haven't been helpful at all. I couldn't even figure out the estimated time of death. I'm sorry I'm such a useless piece of trash. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, if you're the murderer, then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just fun. I, you do I have a fun time. You do it so well. What? <laughs> 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 we stepped onto the escal uh, escalator and ascended towards the gaping maw on Monokuma Rock. It's really funny. We got to go up and then we got to go down. Yeah. Yep. Like, why don't we just go down? That's a great question. It's got to be dramatic. Exactly. Yeah. And that's when I suddenly noticed it. Excuse me? I noticed our lined up silhouettes keep getting smaller and smaller. What? There's not as many people. Oh. But I yeah. can't turn back now. Yeah. There are, and there are going to be one less people as well. Anyway. Well, especially because we just lost four. The number right. just went, Woo! Yeah. Yeah. It went by super fast. Yeah. Yeah. And Necrod's alive, question mark, dead? Mm. I don't know, but out of commission. Yeah. yeah. If I turn back, I won't be able to proceed forward. All right. Up we go. And when everybody was inside Nec uh, Monokuma Rock... <laughs> Goodbye. Now we go down. Yeah, it's a small group. Yeah. The oh, elevator geez. began its descent as usual. But nobody said a word. Who did this one? As we stood there, and it's like, this is one's a horrible one. Yeah. And it's one of these. Like, I like this group. I know. <laughs> like, for the most part. As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through the, uh, the other side eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. Wah -wah. My, my. It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Great. <laughs> well, two people got killed at the same time. And Nekumara's not here either. When I said hey, four hey. earlier, I was including the previous execution. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, yeah. Just because that all happened pretty quickly. Totally. Yeah. Um, is Nekumara really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. No, no. Why bother? That's what? Well, now. Now then, let's begin. Yeah. It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy to your heart's content. Great. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ibuki Miyota, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Hyoko Sayonji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul-mouthed. <laughs> but she was trying to change herself. 
and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Mahiru's death. The person who killed those two was among us. Among us. Among us. <laughs> I definitely can't believe it. But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find out, no matter the cost. For our sake, for our friend's sake, for Ibuki and Yoko's sake. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Here we go. Please. Here we go. Let's right. do this thing. Oh fuck. Okay, we yeah, we need to do. We didn't fucking buy any skills, cause we're. Can you do it here? Can I? Open the yeah. Can we? I don't. I still See... don't know how to do this. Yeah, I... I don't know. Can you open the e-handbook? That's just gonna show us the clues, right? Um, I think or... so. Uh, I mean, unless... Regulations? I don't know. I don't know. Nope, present. Nope, nope. nope. Here, one moment. Hold just a sec. Okay. All right, we realized that you can buy skills from the, um, the report card. So we bought a few skills and we have equipped them. Uh, yep. We didn't spend all of our hope fragments, but we got, we spent a few. Yep, we got this one increases our influence gauge. Uh, we got this one in increases our influence gauge's recovery when we do correct answers. Next minute makes our aiming speed faster. And there's one more. This one was like really cool. Um, focus gauge decreases at a slower rate for a bunch of stuff. Yep. Um, yep, I'm cool with that. Do we need to look at the... I think we're probably good now. I think now. we're good. We just wanted to do that. Yep. So we've done it. All right. We're all set. Let's go. Class trial, go. Woo! Trial all rise. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class. During the class like, trial, you, know you if you yes, vote who done it, the black I will punish end. everyone beside... Oh, well, who cares about this boring explanation? <laughs> let's get on with it already. All right. I don't mind starting the trial, but... I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. <laughs> no, oh, come on. Soda. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up. The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, you know Ari. I kind of like that. Yeah. Now's not the time, no. though. Oh, like, look how low they put it. It's like, oh, oh geez, Jesus, it's so small. small. <laughs> oh. Anyway, That's rough. we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Okay. Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, okay. while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That's such a heart-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? God. <laughs> he seems invested in this one, so yeah. we're probably about to get a lot of we're this guy. We're gonna get a whole lot, huh? 
Oh boy. I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought, but the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then, I noticed Ibuki was gone, so I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways?! I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like we had the same reaction yep. at the same time. Don't say it like that and confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new sprite, I think. It is. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened... We didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so, we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Good. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Are we really going to have a rebuttal showdown immediately? Is that Maybe. what's about to happen? I mean, admittedly, there is nobody more suspicious than us. That is true. We are the most suspicious We We so have far. admitted fully that we were at the venue. That is very true. Yeah. Yep. That, yeah. So I guess they do have... Yeah, if they can't settle this early, we have a bit of a problem. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Sorry. I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. He's being an asshole because he gave us the proof and said, hold on to this, it's proof. Which part was that? Oh, our st our ticket thing? Yeah. yeah if uh, we didn't know what was being imitated. Right. Oh, he is yeah, being Yeah, he's just being asshole. an asshole. Come on, I mean, man. admittedly, he's being an asshole in our benefit, because again, if, if we can knock this out early... Yeah, but he, he doesn't have to do it like this. No, he's, he an, can, a he's, he's an, an asshole. asshole. <laughs> he could just say, wait, don't you have that ticket stub we gave you earlier, Hajime? Yeah, it's true. Like, it's clear Hajime didn't kill, because... Because he didn't even know about the movie. <sighs> but, no. but it's a video game and we got to make sure the player yeah. knows what the fuck's going on. It's also in character. He likes it doing is. this shit. He likes this Especially shit. Especially to us. Yeah. Ugh. It's just as Kazuichi said. Nagito's the kind of guy who will just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it. I shouldn't have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Okay. Well, here. Let, what are my... Hotel room, scrap of... T oh, my God. Uh, okay, the movie's movie invitation, invitation ticket, ticket is there. Yeah. Hajime's the testimony is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie... Oh, my God, there's so much already. And the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. 
Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. Okay. okay. Oh, he's means it probably it is Hajime's he's, he's, fault. He's being an asshole, but like not a huge one, actually. All right. I'd argue he's almost helping us. Yeah, he said he's trying to set us up, kind of in a way. But positively, Hajime's testimony yeah. is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's sort of. Kind of. Why? I mean, he's feeding us all the information we need to defend ourselves while also being Nagito. Yeah. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. Okay. Okay. No, that's wrong. I lost a little bit of time, but that's okay because I got everything else out of the way. Yep. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. There we go. Of course you're not. I already knew that. I gave you all the stuff. Yeah. Why'd you have to do that, man? Just to make it clear that you're here to stir the pot, I guess. Yeah, or, I mean, again, this is going to sound weird. I think he genuinely was doing that to benefit us. Because he thought it was a good thing. Yeah, because yeah. it showed up later and everyone's like, wait, we've been arguing for 30 minutes, but what if Hajime's been lying the whole time? That becomes a real problem. Right, but if he brings it up now, okay, it's like... I roll my eyes really hard at you, Nagito, but okay. I mean, it's, look, but it's him, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, true. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. Yeah. Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. Okay. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. Well, <laughs> Don't get mad. Well. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. I mean, I guess he has sort of a point to be like, let's stay on our toes, people, kind of thing. But he was still an ass about it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah exactly. It's like, even when you're like, I kind of get what you were doing. But also, it was just still, be kinder. It was still mean-spirited. Yeah. yeah. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm... A murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime, how long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <gasps> they were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! M me too? What the hell? Why's it gotta be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. I swear to God, if they come forward and be like, we were having sex, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Or we were making out, like, 
<laughs> They've just had a whole character arc off screen. <laughs> yeah. While we were doing the hospital thing, they're like, yeah. well, we've been at this motel for five days. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's our alibi. <laughs> we were together. <laughs> Carnally. <laughs> that's like what Sonia would say to <laughs> Okay, that's theory one. All right. <laughs> yeah. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. Oh. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! That's rude. That's me, hey, man. Yeah. Why are you talking like, huh? Y you're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? <laughs> Please stop making bad jokes. Thank you. Anyway. If the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall! Is this his professional skill? The killer was inside the music venue. Yuhiko obviously thinks so, but... Is that really it? Alright. Have gotten out in any way? I don't... know. Unless... Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. The telegram key. Scraps of paper, step ladder, surveillance monitor video. And the semi transparent. The killer was still inside the music lock. venue. The semi transparent. By what? locking lock the door from the, from the inside. Oh yeah. They tried to keep us from getting in. Oh, it right. seems they were trying to stall for time. That might be it, honestly. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Okay. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. Do I have to take that? By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. Yeah, because the glob so they takes like time to cure, just right? Over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Okay, so our our hittable options were the drumstick, the lock. I don't know. We need to go back through. Yeah, I wasn't making notes. Yeah, contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove my evidence with my evidence. Okay, okay so we don't have to pull the in music shoot. Venue. Okay. By locking the door from the inside. Oh, maybe okay, not. Maybe that. Oh shit! I can't. Just move they it. Tried <laughs> to uh, it's from to getting the in. right. Uh, yeah. It seems uh, you're trying to stall No, because if there's any words in front of it, you can't but hit it. But it wasn't right? in front of it. No, you, can, you just need to not hit the that words. Not have... The lock was on the oh, floor. Are you okay. talking about the bro... You can use that as a I thought you had to clear that. all of the words out of the way. No, you just need to so not hit the like purple. I've seen okay. this in serial crime dramas. I'm going to try this. Transparent glob versus that. Uh, I mean, okay. I can run through my other stuff, but... The killer was still inside the music venue. Yeah. I don't think By locking the door from the inside... You're, oh, you're oh, gonna miss shit. it again. Just shoot over there. They tried to keep us from no, getting in. No, you have in. to. I see it. It didn't even like make connection. It I think seems I have to clear the They were trying to stall for time. Okay. How let me, did they let me try again. That door should not have. The lock was on the floor. Are you talking about the bro? You can use that. If as I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I I. We get no, it's okay. Suddenly, I feel like I remember like from V3 shooting around dramas. the words, but maybe that's a V3 exclusive thing. Got it. The killer was still inside the music I also could be missing the door from the inside. No worries. There we go. Okay. No, that's wrong. Okay. No, no worries. All good. That would have been nice if I could Hold go around. Sec. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? But then how'd they get the drumsticks in place? Unless it was snapped and just thrown on the floor. Oh yeah, and just not related at all. Like the I sorry, this is this is, a, is a general yeah. note. I don't remember this trial at all. So you're with me on this. Yeah, I mean like I know I know the, the end result, but the details I have very foggy memory of, so I'm playing along more than I normally do. Awesome, awesome. Okay, yeah. cool. No, that's that is actually really true because we were like because I, I was even thinking, I'm like, how are drumsticks gonna keep the door in place? But yeah. then they, they saw the But glue, if they just went and, and threw it onto it. the ground. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. It was a semi transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi transparent glob. Like rubber maybe? 
It wasn't rubber at all. That semi-transparent glob was probably... Glue. I see! That semi-transparent glob must have been glue. So they killed... They killed Hyoko and then ran out and glued the door shut. Because they had to have glued the door shut in between the time that Hajime was in there and then left and came back. Was the door yeah. half open when we got there? Or did we open the door? I, I genuinely don't remember. don't remember. Yeah. I really don't remember. But I'm yeah, sure. it could be after we left. They just play, applied the glue and ran. Yeah. I don't know. But they still had to get Hyoko's body up. I still don't think Hyoko was... I think Hyoko was dead before Ibuki, I think. Or... I don't know. I'm just... I'm not sure. Yeah. Blue? Yeah. I think so, too. It had a firm, gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. Please do not, Akane. This is bad, everybody. No. <laughs> I believe it is not something one typically eats. Thank you. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? Hmm. It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. Oh. <laughs> Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. <laughs> In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. Monami, uh, before you speak... Think about whether it contributes to the conversation at hand. <laughs> because I gotta say, that brought nothing. No. Nope. So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the vineyard, God. the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space. And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. Okay. All right. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from <laughs> the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? Oh, unless her body was already up and it was just covered in the paper or something. And then was like pulled down and revealed. Like, she was already there. I don't know. Why would they do that? But that's yeah, all I and can... I mean, we've only seen the 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 view that Hajime saw once, so it's hard to remember whether yeah. there was something there. Yeah, but that's I mean, that's all I that's all, I can that's the only thing I can think of is that maybe that's how the stickers and the paper came into play is that they put Hyoko's body up, but then they needed to cover it because they didn't want it to be readily like like seen yet and that's why that there's that paper that's in the storage room the staff room that matches the paper on the pillars outside with the stickers on it because it was originally wrapped it was wrapped around her i don't know uh hmm. that's plausible i don't know yeah and when you went back with everyone else Hyoko's body was there too, right? Because it's just too short amount of time. It's a really small to window. To get her up there. Like, she'd have to already be on the pillar. Well, it's also tricky because not only is it a small amount of time, but also, to Fihiko's point, everyone's time is kind of accounted for. Yeah. Other than Sonia and Kazuichi. Right. But everyone else is, yeah. Right. And plus, I also feel like it would be really difficult for one person to get Hyoko's body up on that pillar too which uh, which does make me think that like there is an accomplice involved maybe it was maybe it was Ibuki like Ibuki was the accomplice and then the killer was like go kill yourself like because she was still sick and had like you know uh, uh, 
the disease, like the gullible disease. The gullible disease. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, and it was like, okay, and like just Sounds went up and like a plan. fucking did it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Maybe I'm. Oh, I like this theory. I don't know if this is anything, but hmm. But what? But who would that be? Like, who would fucking do that? That's. I mean, that's a yeah. great question. I mean, the only thing I think of is that maybe Mikan, because she's the one most like intimately aware of Ibuki's bullying. No, not sorry, not Ibuki. Uh, Hiyo uh, Ibuki's disease and Hyoko was bullying her, so she would have some semblance of a motive to kill Hyoko because she's so fucking mean to her and she's like she really understands why like how Ibuki is sick and how she can manipulate that and then kill her and then she can also cover up the like the time of death as well like she knows that I don't know just her fucking this, that one little comment just set me off <laughs> Her little slowpoke comment. Yeah, or, her yeah. little slowpoke comment. That was just that just felt a little too much of like a oh little old me. Yeah, like divert yeah. away from oh, her. Oh little old me. Yeah, and she's acting so weird during uh, all of the time the despair disease was happening. I'm not weird. <sighs> That's a lie. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Okay, I'm but it's possible weird. that the body was just <laughs> revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. Correct. Stepping, making, taking five steps back yeah. from how far I jumped. Or maybe 20, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I, I took You a went few... on a tear there, but <laughs> it's fun. It, to your point, it's a good theory, yeah. I, I, I went on a few leaps, but I don't know. It. Th there are still other factors to take into account, so we'll see. Just revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here, I have proof. Yep. Hmm, that oh, yeah. scrap of paper. Okay. Is that what we found in the <laughs> baton <laughs> no, no, the got music the venue? Line of thought is me, I think. That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? This this is a weird case, only in that, unlike a lot of the others. It feels like maybe two people kind of know what happened. Yeah. Which doesn't really make sense, especially because this one seems pretty convoluted. But Nagito came in fully like, like yeah, I know what's going on. Yeah. Let's do this thing. And Chiaki seems to highly suspect what's going on, too. I mean, Chiaki is very, like, well, like dialed yeah. into everything. And even weirdly, and we haven't seen evidence of this, but even outside, Gundam was like, true. time for me to put on my big boy pants. Let's do this thing. That's true. Like, yeah. He seems to have some sort of, I don't insight. know, insight as to what's going on. And it could true. be because his hamsters are running all over the, the place. True. Mm. True, true, true. And they were able to gather some evidence. The um, power of June P. All yes. things are revealed. And 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 Maga San, D. San D. And, <laughs> and Chompy. Chompy. <laughs> now I should be able to figure out what it is. Okay. What am I doing here? Hey, man's canvas. It's your favorite. Oh, great. How many letters? Oh boy. I don't remember how to do. This I'm like 99% sure I know what what it is. Is it? Is it? Not P. I don't know what our first letter has to be. That doesn't hurt me to just do this. It hurts you a little bit. Okay. Do you, it, let me know when you want to know. Uh. Well, there's just gonna be a W. Uh, let's try W. I don't know. Wall wallpaper? Yeah. Wallpaper. Okay. There you go. Get okay. that A! Ah, Get that ah, A! Get ah. that A! No! Oh, <laughs> oh no! I'm out of A's! Oh shit! <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, they're not gonna hit it. It does other. hurt you, so like be careful. Okay, I that, do. See. That stuff doesn't come back. Let's do this one over here. Oh, that W's going really fast. Um Oh no! Oh shit. And you needed that. No, no, you didn't. Oh, well, uh, I need to Be careful, that W's L. about to hit that W. <laughs> oh, that no. P. Oh no! <laughs> You're gonna be at a half health oh, by the no, end of this. No. Get that L. L, L, and then this L over here. Good. I need, and then I'm gonna need another L. These E's are gonna combine. That's fine. Whatever. Um, you might want to shoot that R. 
Oh, oh, oh. shit. No, that was mm. wrong. Fuck! <laughs> oh no! These A's are going so fast! Yeah, E's about to hit that W. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Go over here. Uh, R. Go over here. It's gonna be a super A. No! <laughs> The L, the L, the L, the L, the L, the okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at this giant A! I need a P. Okay. There's many. There's, There's so a lot of options. Ah! I need an A. <laughs> I don't fully understand. <laughs> oh my god! The L's and the P's. Allison! <laughs> is about to run into the A because you, okay. Okay, no, it needs to go over here. No, 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 okay, uh. <laughs> no! Okay, in the R. No! <laughs> what am I on, P? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna be real, Allison. I don't, I don't understand on this one. <laughs> Paper in the storage room? <laughs> that makes me With panic. all the adoration in the world, I, I don't think that could have gone worse. I just I panic. <laughs> I panic so much. <laughs> I love the Hangman's Gambit. The Hangman's Gambit Every so time it shows up, it's just a real treat. It's so stressful. <laughs> oh, That's my favorite mini game. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> In the music venue storage room, he is, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. He is saying what I was saying seven minutes ago. Yes. So there was good. also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, mm -hmm. you're right. If you overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting with the tear in the wallpaper, see, it fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearing? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. Or you could just say it. No. <sighs> no, you have to be an agent of change. <laughs> oh. this, that scrap of paper stuck to the baton lighting was part of the wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body? Yes! If I trace it back from there, the answer should become clear. All right, let's give this a try. It's snowboarding time. Is that what we're doing? It we sure doing? is. Oh, I don't remember how to do this one. You just mm. go. I don't remember how to jump. I Press buttons do. until you jump. That's how I stop. That's how there I you go. Okay. Yay. I don't remember if I can go fast. You can. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes. There fast. you go. There we go. Because I need and to make that do jump. Oh, oh! There's obstacles now. Yep. Oh, oh! Oh man, you, you figured it out. Wee! Nice. Ooh. Ooh, oh, not no, so nice. Not so nice. Not so nice. Ooh. Ooh. Well, maybe I should slow down. <laughs> Maybe I should slow down and only accelerate when I need to jump. No! <laughs> you got this. Slow yeah. and steady wins the race. No, I think you can go faster. Okay. <laughs> I just need to be strategic about it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Question one. Why did Yoko's body suddenly appear at the crime scene? It was hidden. It was brought there. It was hidden. All right. 
Let's do it. Do, do, do. Is that it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, give me that blast. booster pad. Yeah. Oh, booster pad. Another booster pad. Woo! Woo! Oh, don't hit that. <laughs> Wee! Woo! <laughs> 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 this game is silly. I know. I like this one. Question two. What did the killer use to hide her body? No! <laughs> God, I love Dog and Rumpa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> the despair. I know. <laughs> These mini games <laughs> really hammer home the plot. <laughs> Let's do this. Question. Oh. Final question. Next, give me our final question. It's a launch. Oh. Woo. 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 Look at me go. I love snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Final question. How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? They f they for they covered the pillar. You've done it. You've done it again. It's all coming together. It all it's all coming together. It is. It is, Hajime. Oh my god. I got it. Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got to do that mini game to come to the conclusion I made 15 minutes ago. <laughs> you know, <laughs> at least we got there. Yeah. It was a fun journey. What yeah. it would have taken quite a long you know. time to tape up a hidden body. It's not about the destination. Except in this, it totally is. It's no, the body was <laughs> already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using oh. the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. The By pillar. wrapping yes. the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. Indeed. So when I first discovered yeah. Ibuki's body, Hyoko's body was already there. Oh, yeah. However, Whoa. because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Very well, interesting. That's understandable. Very interesting. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So it's like so one of those spot the difference puzzles, yeah. except for over 15 minutes apart. Yeah. So, yeah. That still means that the killer had to have been in there between, between uh, Hajime being there and leaving to still take down the fake pillar, like wrapping paper, or you know, like paper. Yeah, but that doesn't take as long as, as killing somebody. Absolutely, yeah. They could definitely do that in like a minute. Like take that down real quick, stick it into the storage room, and then pull the door shut to glue it, mm -hmm. yeah. So they use the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The yeah. baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Wow. Then the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. Yeah, and I did not notice that it was wider at the time either. No, nah, that's yeah. a tricky one. That's to spot. how they hid Hyoko's body and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music venue. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? <laughs> she hasn't seen it the either. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D? Hey, don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. Oh, God. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. 
Moss, moss ball. or moss? Moss balls or moth balls? The voice line was def definitely moth, moth balls. balls. But this says moss balls. Well, the mystery will remain unsolved. Well, <laughs> I don't eat moss balls. I just enjoy looking at them. Okay. Okay. I, that one that was really moss. moss balls. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in the movie, I should be able to explain that now. To hide the weapon because they like movies? To mix up the killing order. To mix up the killing order. Yeah. Yeah. I see! Yeah. There it implies go. chronology. The reason the killer yep. imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Then. Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. <laughs> Gundam, what's up? What's going on, Gundam? I'm not even crying. He's acting a little weird. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> An evil wow. jerk? jerk? Impossible! Wow! Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was killed. Because she had blood on her shoes. Right? Yeah, because she walked through the blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would mean Hiyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. You two suck. God damn. You two either need to be again. friends or stop talking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is so true. Yes. Yeah, you're either going to be really good friends or you just or you're going to like just stop. Yes. Yeah. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from you a guys, pathetic children. delusion. Please talk in straight words. Yeah, Please. Chiaki, I, I do talk. blame you a bit for this. Yeah, Chiaki's... He's being a real ass, to be clear. He is, but Chiaki's definitely egging him on, yeah. too, so... Which, like... She does. Yeah, she does like to do that. Anyway, yeah. if this continues, we're not gonna we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Yoko was killed. Okay, let's do this. Um we need blood on the souls. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, we're starting with that. Cool. Alright, perfect. Alright. Excellent. Let's go. When okay. Yoko died. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to, to present your evidence. That. Well, blood on the soles is a contradiction. Did you see her oh, walking? Is. If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? Signs she stepped on something? Yes, that would be it. Yeah, I agree I with that. I need to take that. No, I think we can. Maybe her feet oh, were we can blood on the floor. We agree with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. But she was like sitting or something. I'm gonna let it play out. So instead, there'd be a mark on her ass. Okay. Okay, there's weak, that. Weak, 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 I say. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it doesn't even pierce my heart. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pierce it all right. Chiaki said Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed, but is that really true? Uh. When Hyoko died. Yeah. Ibuki's feet were. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? Yeah, I think we need to. 
If her feet were on okay, the floor. Okay, right. It's gonna be over here. Was there any sign she stepped on something? Oh no! Fuck. There we go. Yes. I agree with that. Sorry, to waste some time, but there we go. Doesn't no, matter because we got it end. done. Yep. Yeah. Just as Sonia said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. Mm -hmm. I, th I think that Ibuki is the one that carried everything out and was told to do it because she had the gullible disease. Uh, and then at the very end, the killer was like, okay, no, yeah go off yourself like and that's how they killed two people because they took their accomplice and had their accomplice kill themselves that could uh, be possible yeah i mean it's it kind would still of maybe be the blackens fault yes yeah it absolutely would still be the black it's kind fault. of a funny play on what pecco's um argument was last time though. yeah it is. is can a person be a tool yeah and in that case maybe yeah in that specific case possibly um, that's, that's very true. And it kind of harkens back to Celeste's case in the first game. Yep. Um, it definitely. Both as a double murder and as a, yeah. 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 And as I a mean, kill, it's killing your accomplice. Of... Yeah. Kind of thing. Um. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye. Right. Okay. <laughs> Bring it on, man. Right. Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? <laughs> Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. <laughs> <laughs> I love this man! He's really funny! <laughs> but, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know! <laughs> they say you know so much in this game. They do. You know? <laughs> Usually you're is so a joke because I feel like can't most even of it... make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. I feel like Monokuma says like the vast majority of it. Yeah. Like, you know? I, you know? I imagine that's a translation thing that there's an expression in Japanese. That yeah. Say that. Just like in Naruto, like he says death of bio at the end yeah. of sentences, which is kind of the same thing. Believe as it. You know? Oh, yeah. Believe it. Yeah. So. I, that's what I imagine. Yeah. That no, is I think that's replace. exactly what's happening. Yeah. But I do think that the translators had a bit of fun with it by incorporating it into Monokuma's little. Yeah, yeah. kind of made it a joke. Yeah, yeah, and then everyone kind of echoes it. The time yep. for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. Haji <laughs> was like, uh, okay. All right. All I right. don't have any investment in this, I, says Haji. Why do I do this one again? Okay, which one do I want? Oh boy, oh boy. Smudge on the floor, surveillance rope. Use your hanging metal room scrap of You're paper. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belong to him. Oh, no. You no, gotta no. slice down. Oh. Huh, oh, no, no. Why, why do I have to slice Try down? To you have to hit the oh, thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Step on blood that was never there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just about, did you see a nice nightmare? Get, 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 get. Oh. Ow. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> Despite his exaggerated protests, I feel like I've already seen an opening to counter its blood, the blood. But I don't know. Is this a trap? You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belong to Hiyoko? Sorry, uh, which one do I need to switch to? Ha! Impossible! Sorry, I'm gonna do this real Try quick. To remember the he's gonna push scene. me back, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, before you can see there was it. no blood on the floor. Smudge on the floor. Yeah, so smudge on the floor. On okay. That was never there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Just about what did you see a nice nightmare? Okay, I brought it back. Okay. Okay. All right, well, let's well, do this thing. Bit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. And you to have to do hit. the slash. You're on saying the blood. the blood on Ibuki's feet below. Yeah. Ah, impossible. Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood. Oh, ah, shit. Step on no. Ah, that was shit. Never there. I killed it. <laughs> yeah, it is a trap. I see. One it's like right see there. A nice nightmare. Well, he's probably gonna have a secondary statement, I think, that's is what Hajime is saying. Fuck, I gotta remember how to slash. It's the same way you shoot. Oh, it's white. You're yeah, saying yeah. the blood on Ibuki's feet okay. belong to he- Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. Okay. next one. Next there one. was no blood on the floor. Whack! Yes, there was. Allow me to cut through those words. There we go. Oh, was that it? That was your whole That's statement? It? That's not it. Gundam! The reason there was no blood on, on the floor Gundam. is because the killer wiped it away afterward. 
Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> if you look closely, there's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Hyoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Mm -hmm. Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating, so I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact, so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! If the time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us... Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. All things considered, they okay. got there pretty quickly. They did! Yeah. Yeah. That's a like... pretty efficient, like, zip, zip, zip. I feel like we're moving along here. Yeah. Yeah. It appears that... It is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then, but regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Unless you're wrong. Unless but you're that's, wrong, but you know. I mean, I see where you're coming from, but you, but you were incorrect. So. <laughs> but you were incorrect. That Can't is you true. just shut up and back off? <laughs> okay. Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Oh boy. Uh-huh. Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Suicide? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! But I think he's getting at what I was saying, is like, what if the person who committed suicide was, was the one doing the killing? Maybe. We'll Think see. about it. A suicide no. means you've killed the most important existence of all, yourself. Yeah, he's saying that the blackened in that case would be the person who's dead. Oh, I see. If huh. someone committed suicide. Then they're their own blackened. Yeah. So that's what he's saying. Okay. Unfortunately, that means there's no blackened to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. <laughs> Why me? Um, Nagito? What do you mean, if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means... Right, right. The killer had to be alive at that time. Mm -hmm. Then she was alive! Unless she wasn't dead while she was... when we saw her. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. And then killed herself? She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. W what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Huh? 
According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? Mm -hmm. Forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Mm -hmm. uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. I guess what I'm trying to figure out is Nagito, obviously, before the trial was like, this particular one is inexcusable. I've got issues with it. Um, and I guess my, my question is, is it because he thought that one of the two had killed themselves or is it something else? We don't really, it's so That's hard to question. read where, where he's coming from at any given time. Like yeah. you, in retrospect, you always can figure it out, but in the midst, it's like, I yeah. don't know, Nagito. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what is he referring to in this case? Yeah. Like, is it is it that detail or is it something else? Yeah. Unclear. That's, yeah, that is fair. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually live? What time did Hajime see that video? I mean, maybe it wasn't Mikan because Mikan was with Fuyuhiko looking for Ibuki. Unless... Unless Mikan told her to go do all of those things and, and so that she could make it look like she had an alibi. Sorry, I'm still fixing it. I still think Mikan did it. Um, hmm... But then someone would have to come and close the door. Uh, unless, no, actually, you don't have to close the door. If, if Ibuki was told to do everything, Ibuki could take the... Oh no, she couldn't have, because the killer had to come in and do all that shit because Ibuki had already hanged herself. Yeah. So a third party still had to have come into the, the space after Ibuki died. It seems like it. it. I mean, it's all tricky because, like, they haven't confirmed whether... We haven't confirmed if Ibuki was dead when Hajime came into the room. That's true. There's some... I mean... There's some odd. Everything here. around the video, I think, is a little bit odd at the moment, too. Yeah. There's two, two odd steps, which is when Hajime physically was at the music hall and also the video. And it looks like we're probably about to dig into the video. Yes. Um, but do you want to dig into the video more next time? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. All because right. Because I feel like this will take us into sort of the next phase of this class trial. Yeah, because like it seems like the characters and you got to this point pretty quickly, which yes. is, you know, the, the order was faked, which throws wide open the the time when this all could have happened mm -hmm, except mm -hmm. it also kind of doesn't because there are actual moments where Hajime specifically saw a lot of this happen yes so. Hajime saw a lot and yeah there are things that actually did have to happen on a timer with somebody else there that wasn't either of the two victims doing it um and it's like I mean, I guess I guess we can circle back to Soda and Sonia because they don't have alibis right now. So. They're certainly the ones with the least. Yeah. Like we have absolutely no accounting for any of their time throughout all. Of this. That is very true. Other yeah. than that, Sonia interacted with Sionji prior to all of this. Correct. Yeah, and she feels at least she's claiming to feel a little, uh, like thinks she's somewhat at fault for this mm -hmm. um, because she basically sent. Sionji over to the music hall to use the mirror and thinks that that's why she got killed. Yep. Hmm. But can we even fucking believe that? I mean, can yeah. you believe anybody? That's kind of, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. There's a few people we can point to and be like, I'm pretty sure you didn't do it. Akane. Uh, yeah. I'd say Nagito too, because both of them were still fully in despair disease yeah. right up until this was done. I think that's accurate. Yes. Um, I think I think I we can probably say Hinata didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, not <laughs> us, we did not yes. do it in some sort of, I don't know, state. Um, yeah, but everyone else, I think, is is 
suspect enough that we need to to keep poking. So. Yeah, because like by the same logic that says Mikan could have done this, if Mikan could have done this, then Fihiko could have done this because right. they have the same timeline. That is very true. Um, Gundam is accounted for by Monami, but Monami is not vouched for him. Yeah. We know that they work together, but then we also don't know what happened to them. Uh huh. And Fihiko even made a, a very pointed statement that like we shouldn't rely on what Monami says yeah. either. So that's a good point. Yeah. If if like I don't know. Like it's just better not to trust her account. But if that's the case, Gundam's in kind of a weird spot, and admittedly yeah. he's acting a bit weird. Yeah. Exactly. That's that's sort of why I bring that up yeah. because he's being a little strange right now. Um, Chiaki was with us from leaving Gundam on. So anything yeah. before that, she's not accounted for, but everything after that, she definitely is. Correct. But by that yes. same logic, so everything after that, Fihiko and Mikan are, are also in the clear for. So mm -hmm. Chiaki's kind of in a weird spot. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah. Next time we will we will continue. Uh, I think this is a, a cool, interesting spot to be in. I mean, it sucks that two people are dead. That always sucks. Um, but we're gonna fucking figure it out. I'd say a two point five D too, because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nakamura is notably not absent. True. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very true. Um, all right. Well, we'll see you next time, folks. See you then. <laughs>